No, 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 no. Say savage, stay savage, your boy. So you know, Ben Troll was popping today. We are back. Was good today. I want to talk about how Boruto has a madman all over the place. And what I mean by, what I mean by madman, like if you guys remember, Orochimaru was this scientific genius who's always making experiments, always conducting these tests, trying to find every ninjutsu, every jutsu, releasing forbidden jutsu, also adding on to genjutsu and expanding all different type of techniques. You've seen him create synthetic humans, which are Mitsuki. We've seen him amplify his own resistance to poisons, as well as giving it to Kairin, as well as Jugo Sugetsu and Sasuke Uchiha. We've seen this man go after the Sharingan multiple times we've seen this man actually execute body switching techniques and even try to push himself even further by maximizing the power of the curse mark so there's a like a lot of different things going on with tomorrow Orochimaru has been proven to be one of the best renowned scientists in the Naruto universe now it's crazy because at Boruto and Naruto next generation there are multiple people like this originally it started off as just Orochimaru that one person that was like obsessed with science obsessed with like humans and obsessed with ninjutsus forbidden jutsus he wanted to learn everything every jutsu because he was always trying to pique his interest. Now we have people like Katasuke who is like engulfed in scientific ninja tools, who's engulfed in different scientific ninja technology that is trying to excel the world. If you look at the Boruto manga, we have seen this character Katasuke actually make like a whole bunch of different things. We've seen him make the things where he can fly, climb walls without actually having to use chakra. We've seen him make the scientific ninja tool gauntlet. We've seen him make a chakra saber. You know, we've seen him make some spray that allows you to get healed instantly without having to use use ninjutsu or having a medical healer on like deck and shit like that so it's one of those things where it's like okay this went from orochimaru to kind of katasuke but katasuke is more of like the technology side but if you look at boruto's manga chapter 26 we have a new scientist introduced his name is amando now i don't necessarily know if he's completely a scientist but it seems as if he is because you know he uh jigen brought kawaki to meet him and when amando was there you know obviously jigen wanted uh kawaki to actually show him some respect you know he wanted him to kneel you know just treat him like some a proper being or whatever you know as if he was his superior and shit like that that's why jigen wanted him like hey to set me as your father you want to be one of my precious children like these kids up here and it's like why is you know amado in this place at at the beginning you know what i'm saying not to mention he's smoking a cigarette most scientists scientists in anime or as well as manga they're usually stressed out from like the high volume of output of work that they're doing or like the demand that they're doing so like they usually have some type of cope you you know, they'll usually take a sip. They'll usually smoke a cigarette. And in Amando's case, he's smoking a cigarette. It kind of reminds me of Asuma in, the, in a way. But we see Amando actually, you know, smoking a cigarette but if you look above there's like these bunch of like clones like as if they're like a bunch of kids you know these all these like scientific ninjas like you know what i'm saying there's all these experiments and it was talking about how kawaki is going to be one of his precious children now when we see katasuke analyzing and talking about kawaki in the chapter we saw him basically saying whoever created this kid was very smart his cellular structure can basically you know change at any rapid time he can change his hand into a spear if he wanted to use a turn weapon he saw we saw it turn into a scythe and we seen him do like these different things that reminded us of Jugo a bit. And, you know, the fact that a scientist was able to like change his body on a molecular structure, you know, and actually have him make cellular division rapidly and instantly, you know, that shows that this person was a genius. Katasuke even admired his work when they found, first found uh, Kawaki and they first was introduced to Kawaki. They was like, yo, this man has like cellular cells up in his body that can create division and also rapidly change. You know, Kawaki was like originally like this big old project, you know, he also started as a regular human but i feel like you know he got experimented on by jigen scientists you know and it's like it brings me back to the question we saw like guru uh was somebody guru if i'm pronouncing it right was somebody that went after kawaki and he looked like he was scientifically uh like modified you know like they actually upskilled his body you know upskilled his power and shit like that you know he kind of looked like a cyborg but he was built like the juggernaut essentially but you know we see this type of being popping up so now we see all these little kids hanging from the ceiling and shit that must mean Jigen was going around poaching a whole bunch of kids and bringing them back to Amado to actually like you know basically experiment on them and you know try to make like this perfect being and then you guys see that Jigen over time constantly refers to Kwaki as the vessel now if you guys look at the manga and look at the 
flashback that we've been getting we've seen him directly address him as kawaki but once he's amongst the other members of the kara you know you only see him address him solely as you know the vessel you don't see him talking to him as like kawaki you know obviously when he bought kawaki from his father you know you saw him actually say hey you know i'm gonna be your new dad i'm gonna be your new father you don't have to worry about anything anymore you know you, all those little problems that you had before you won't have to worry about it and now it's like you know you see him in the manga you know you get he's giving off this i want to be your father type of vibe you know i'm here for you i got your back type of vibe but then if you look at like how he is around the other car remember he's like yo this is an expensive ass vessel you know we spent a lot of money on this we need to get that back at all costs so what's jigen trying to basically get a model to scientifically modify the perfect body willing to like take that he could take you know what i'm saying not to mention we see kawaki with the karma seal so was like jigen holding one of the utsuzuki members prisoner but it's kind of hard to hold a utsuzuki member prisoner because it's like yo how, how like they can jump through dimensions at a whim you know what i'm saying we've seen uh, my boy yurashiki jump through dimensions we've seen him disappear like instantly you know we've seen my boy uh momoshiki pile up the same way we've seen kenshiki do like the same type of shit they can hop through different dimensions hop there through different doors that's how they was able to get to the realm where naruto and was at so it's like was he like working with a uh, yurashiki or was he working with another utsuzuki member mind you jigen has a karma seal of his own so we don't necessarily know the in-depthness about that like it is really like puzzling because now i'm wondering like what is amado like purpose what, what does he want to gain what is he trying to do is he trying to like exert his dominance on the scientific community or is he just trying to assert his dominance on the world there's a whole bunch of questions that i want to know does it have a problem with like the ninjas and the shinobi of the world does he feel like that they're outdated or that there should be changed but it's like you know if you look at amado he doesn't look like a young man he doesn't look like somebody that was like always like around. he looks a lot older than naruto you know what i'm saying it wasn't like he just popped up into this generation it looked like he'd been a part of this era since you know the things were going on with moderate and stuff like that this isn't a young person we're looking at you know this probably was like one of those adults that actually witnessed naruto take on like madara take on kaguya utsuzuki and stuff like that this wasn't no person that you can just look at and say oh yeah he's uh he's new in this generation you know he's young you know if you look at amado he looks older he looks like a very older gentleman you know what i'm saying he looks like somebody like that's been around the block a couple times maybe he's been around in the era you know a little bit before the four tokage maybe around that time ish because you know it looks like his hair might be grayish i don't necessarily know it just kind of gives me that vibe that he's an older type of scientist it's not like he's like super young so there's a lot of questions that and concerns that i have about amado but like my purpose here now is what are all these other kawaki lookalikes here for like why did jigen go get all these other kids what is jigen trying to do is there going to be a war basically built up of whole like little clones that were created trying to be like you know kawaki where there gonna be a whole bunch of failed clones because right now we're getting a whole bunch of white zetsu vibes where they actually trying to amass an army the same way that kagi was trying to do but they're doing it on a different level that's why they're genetically modifying humans to have the cellular division to actually have a higher level but it even puzzles me because we're wondering why kawaki is the vessel it reminds me of orochimaru to a higher degree i remember you guys know that i talked about orochimaru in the beginning of the video I was talking about he was one of the most renowned scientists and he referred to sasuke as the vessel because he was trying to get sasuke eyes that way he can achieve the sharingan and basically use that ability now we see the exact same thing happening with kawaki but we don't know necessarily who he's becoming a vessel for like what exactly is he becoming a vessel for is he becoming a vessel for somebody of the kara or is he becoming somebody of the utsuzuki is the kara working with the utsuzuki is like what, what's going on like is amado trying to get a body that's capable of cellular division is jigen trying to make his his uh, uh, partner like a body or some shit like i'm just all around just shook i want to know like i'm trying to figure out what's up like this man is obviously a scientist obviously he's doing all the like dirty work behind the scenes like that nitty-gritty handyman work for the car you know what i'm saying he is one of those people that's keeping their insight there you know maybe he's a person that's helping make all these puppets and stuff like that because if you guys remember when kawaki was found we saw kawaki found and he was found around like all these like pu pu puppets and stuff like that and he had broken a lot of them maybe these puppets were there like to protect kawaki or like to stop kawaki from disappearing that's why kawaki fought them and he they basically were using the pu puppets to like restrain kawaki in case he was to get out and, or something like that or even if somebody was to attack kind of like what the konoha did but they didn't necessarily attack the blimp crashed and it was just kind of you know surveying the area and then they still got attacked but it's one of those things like you know they had to be somebody that was scientifically gifted to be able to create these things was able to create kawaki's body and that's what Kotaske said these the person that created this shit was somebody that was really smart now mind you a lot of the information and technology
technology that they do have was stolen from my boy Katoski once he was under the Genjutsu. You know, it is not really sure who put him under Genjutsu. We do know, like, you know, it was supposed to be Ao, but it's also like some like translations say that it was supposed to be Kashi and Koji. But if you look at the manga, it looked like it was Kashi and Koji that popped up instead of Ao. So I don't necessarily know what is going on in the aspect, but we do know a lot of that information that Katoski had is now in the hands of Amaldo, probably. I because honestly, that would be the only other person that I would assume that has all this technology and all this information in terms of that gift. Uh, obviously, a lot of the other car members would know about it, but I feel like the one that's executing and using this like tech would be Amaldo. Because if you look at him, you know, when Jigen walked up in there, my man was looking like he was already in work. My man was lighting a Joe, you know, we call Joe, we call cigarettes Joe's where I'm from. That man was lighting a Joe, you know, he was sitting there, he's like, man. I'm stressed, you know, I'm in this bitch, you know, I ain't feeling blessed because I've been in this bed for like 12 hours working my ass out, working a night shift. So we don't necessarily know. I hope we get a little bit more about Mado in the future. Maybe he has some connection with Orochimaru because you do know Orochimaru has connections with most of the, like the arms dealers, most of the the, the slave traders, you know, the KK game Kai traders and shit like that. This man Orochimaru has connections with everything underhanded. So he may already know who Mado is, you know what I'm saying? Not to mention both of them being scientists. So they basically probably bump into each other during their practices at some time or another so we might get some insight from Orochimaru about who Amado actually is we won't know into the future of the manga actually unfolds let me know your personal opinions in the comment section about Amado if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe for daily content with that being said until next time see you guys later Bye.